Welcome to Memory Jogger 7 on the subject of Kanban Basics. The Kanban method was inspired by how American supermarkets managed their stock with small amounts of product displayed on shelves and turning that product quickly. Like the supermarket, the material Kanban method responds to actions taken by your customer who could be an operator on the production line. Material will be replenished not based on a fixed schedule but on actual usage or consumption. In that way, the delivery system can respond to variation in usage dynamically and automatically as the usage changes. The Kanban system is therefore highly self-regulating, within limits, of course. The replenishment signals can be automated and computers can be used in a Kanban system, but material is not pushed to the point of use based on a schedule. The actual delivery of parts will be triggered by usage and usage can vary for an individual item. This is an example of the most basic Kanban method possible, the replenishment of a small item stocked at a station. Here's a close-up look at a point of use, POU, called Station 3. The item in question is a nut and bolt set, a certain number of which are held in a small bin on the bench. The operator consumes these fasteners as required and at some point is going to need more. The fastener's location on the line is called a Kanban point. The location from which you'll be getting more is also a Kanban point. Let's now see how the materials at Workstation 3 can be replenished using a simple Kanban method. The location in this example from which we will replenish materials consumed at the line we call a Kanban supermarket. The supermarket is a physical storage location near Station 3, which contains a larger quantity of the same nut and bolt set. At first glance, the supermarket may look like a staging area, but it has several different characteristics. Individual items in the supermarket have assigned locations and calculated quantities. Materials move to the line only as signaled by a Kanban signal, and materials are replenished into the supermarket from a Kanban signal as well, so that the supermarket is a Kanban point as well. The relationship between the Kanban point at Workstation 3 and the Kanban point in the supermarket is called a Kanban link. Any movement of material from supermarket to the line is based on actual consumption and demand and is triggered by a Kanban signal, indicated in these diagrams by a box marked K. Remember, this may be an actual physical card, but not necessarily. It is simply a signal that could take one of several other forms, including a barcode scan, a light, an empty bin, an automated sensor, or even a verbal signal. This concludes this memory jogger on the subject of Kanban basics.